Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a peek into Finland's national billiard game Kaisa. In this video we will go through the basics of Kaisa, from the equipment to the rules and maybe a little bit of basic strategy. The table is a 10 footer, so it's a little bit bigger than a full size pool table. Ball size. For comparison, here you have a normal pool ball. Now for the balls in Kaisa. The diameter is 10 mm wider and the weight is around 50% heavier than the regular pool ball. So let's take a look at the pocket size. First off the corner pocket. We will start off with the two ball test. And as you can see, this is pretty tight, but I know, I know your home table or your club table is tighter. But you have to take into consideration that this table is actually on the loose side of the of the Kaiser tables. So here we have the dimensions of the pocket. And as you can see, it's a few millimeters or a fraction of inches bigger than the than the ball itself. And here you have a photo of w just one ball in the pocket. Here I am showing you an approximate of the steepest potting angle. My object ball is in middle of the short rail and around one ball off the cushion. In these kind of shots you want to be using hard to medium pace in order to force the ball object ball into the pocket. Center pockets. Here is a two ball test again. And as you might recognize, the opening is quite a bit bigger than the corner pocket. Here you have the dimensions. The pocket is 10 to 12 millimeters bigger than the ball. Steepest potting angle. Rule of the thumb is that the steepest game viable potting angle is 45 degrees. When you get close to the limit, you want to play the shot with slow to medium pace in order to give the ball every chance to drop in. The cues. Cues are normally a few inches longer than pool cues. Maximum length of the cue with extension on is 2 meters. That might sound a lot, but with the use of the rest band, the extra length comes in handy a lot of the times. Due to the balls being heavier, the cues are also heavier. An average Kaiser cue weighing around 700 grams. Cues are also, of course, stiffer due to the ball weight. Ferrule is normally around 13 millimeters. The ferrules are made of various materials, from regular pool ferrules to different metals and even carbon fiber. One thing is sure, the Kaiser players like to tune their cues. Many people like to put a badminton or a tennis grip to their cue. The game starts with a lag. One of the players or the referee counts one to three. The winner of the lag can decide which cue ball he wants. The cue balls are clearly marked with one and two as you can see in the picture. Number two then places his cue ball anywhere on the lower half of the table. Only the restriction is that the yellow ball must be available for both corner pockets. Number one then places his cue ball in the kitchen area. Number one then starts the game and continues to shoot as long as he score, scores points.
Kaisa is a call shot game. These are the things you need to call before the shot. Pocket. Which cushions you are going to use and in what order. Carom. And combination. So compared to a pool, you must be a lot more precise when calling a shot. This makes Kaisa less luck dependent. A normal Kaiser game is played to 60 points. The basic scoring values of the balls are 2 points for the white, 3 for red and 6 for the yellow, or as the players call it, the Kaiser. Sausages. Currents to other balls with your cue ball are called sausages. By putting a cold ball on Getting sausages, you can increase your points for the shot significantly. Next, let's take a look at the point table. The shot that I just shot was a white to pocket and a sausage on the Kaiser. So instead of just two points for the white, I got seven with the sausage on the yellow or the Kaiser. There is a few formulas to count the points so you don't need to remember this table by heart when playing. Kaiser ball has some special features. Kaiser cannot be pocketed straight into the middle pocket in two consecutive shots. In case this happens the second shot won't count for points. Your opponent will continue with the turn. But this is a scoring play. First one I shoot straight in. And the second one I caramish off the red. So it only counts for the straight in shots. You can score more points by pocketing Kaisa from one or more cushions into the center. Cushion first with your cue ball counts also as a bank. By banking Kaisa and combining it with sausages, you can score really heavy. The theoretical maximum points on one shot is reach. By banking the Kaisa, getting all the sausages and all the sausage balls goes to the pocket. That shot would be worth 31 points. That's over 50% of the points needed to win a match. The highest scoring shot I have seen live is 24 points. Ball is in mangle if the ball is touching the cushion and it does not overlap the imaginary 90 degree line from the point of the jaw. When the ball is in mangle it cannot be used for scoring plays. This ball is considered to be on. Pocketing this ball is still hard or close to impossible. Depending on the table how it reacts to compressing the balls into the pocket. Ball position and spotting the balls. If a ball is spotted, it will be spotted immediately. Kaiser ball goes to the middle spot. The red balls will go to the head spot and the foot spot. If both spots are open, the head spot will be used first. For a shot to be legal, you need to shoot your cue ball forwards. You don't need to hit any other balls or any cushions. Falls. Cue ball scratches to a pocket or cue ball flies off the table. The result is Loss of points according to the object ball you hit first on the shot. If no object ball was contacted during one of these fouls, result is minus two. If an object ball flies off the table, it is not considered a foul. The ball will just be respotted and the play goes on normally. Push shot or touching balls with your body or clothing results a loss of turn. If a player gains advantage by doing these things, the balls will be spotted to their original positions. 
shooting with ball in hand from the kitchen. Player must shoot out of the kitchen area. Object ball is on if over half of the ball is out. Scoring can be done normally to the corner pockets, but scoring to the center pocket can only be done if a cushion is involved. Cushion must be hit outside the kitchen area. Here I am demonstrating a powerful move. I pocket my opponent's cue ball, that means he has to start the next inning from the kitchen. And now I'm trying to set up the Kaisa ball for myself inside the kitchen area. Not my best setup but you get the point. Next my opponent, he has to shoot out from the kitchen, so if he wants to disassemble the setup, he has to go to the short cushion on the other side. More rules shooting out from the kitchen. If your cue ball is pocketed or it has flown off the table, when shooting out of the kitchen you need to stand behind this line. The line is parallel to the short rail. Not only does your feet need to be behind it, but everything from waist down. Here I am demonstrating a few illegal ways of shooting with ball in hand in these cases. Here you can see my feet and my knee is in front of the line. And here you can see my butt. Tricks. For a shot to count for points, only one trick can be performed during the pot. Tricks are caroms and combinations. Here I'm going to show you a few examples of no scoring plays. In the first one, I'm shooting a three ball combination, and this would result in a no, no scoring play. And in the second one, I'm showing you a combination, which is only two balls, but the last ball will also carry them off the one close to the pocket. The result is a non-scoring play. Penalty shootout. If the time runs out and the last two innings have been played, players will progress the penalty shootout. The shootout starts with the lag to de determine who is going first. The shootout lasts for five innings and each inning starts with the Kaisa in the middle spot and the player having ball in hand from the kitchen. Inning lasts as long as the player is able to score points. The first one to 60 wins the match. If the match is tied after five innings, players will play a sudden death shootout, where the first player to score wins the match. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment area. I will do my best to answer all of them. If you want to see full matches with English commentary, I posted two of them with the third in coming in a week or two. Link in the end screen and in the description. Special thanks to you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking. It would help me out a lot. PVK for letting me film at their location. PVK is a private billiard club in Helsinki. More info about them in the description. Jarkko and Sani for playing the mini tournament with me. Rope for providing me with the missing photos. And of course the Big Blue Boys for giving me feedback on the video.